Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. I'm Jerry, and in this video, we're going to take you through our process of what we film with and how we edit. And not going to go into a deep dive on editing, but just show you what we do and what we got. So come along with us. Well, it's a slow week here on YouTube because, you know, all the cool kids are down in Tampa at the RV Super Show. So, you know, not a whole lot going on. And you've noticed, uh, couple that with winter time, and people really just aren't putting out the content that we're used to. So I thought I'd join that club and just show you kind of our process, what we got, kind of a what's in our camera bag. And I'm really super excited because we added a, another item to our videoing arsenal, and that is the 13 Pro. And look at the cameras on that bad boy. Uh, pretty darn excited to start using that. The vid video quality is really cool, and I'm going to shoot part of this video using that. And uh, it's also encouraged me uh, to break out an item that I put up on the shelf a while ago, and that is a gimbal that is designed to use with your cell phone. So anyway, come along with us, and we're going to basically show you what we got, what we use, and not really how we use it, but anyway. Okay, so first things first, uh, I will show you the the workstation here. And um, so basically this is my my room. Um, I got my desk sitting right by the window there. Uh, that way I get really good lighting when I'm doing, you know, uh, Zoom calls or whatever. Um, so I do use a Logitech little desktop camera there. I don't shoot video with that much. That's for Zoom. I do have a little light set up there. And I also add a ring light when needed. Uh, MacBook Pro, that is my primary. That is the computer that I pretty much always use. And that is my iPad. And I do use dual screen. And that way I could have editing up on one thing and then I can have reference stuff over there or whatever. I might uh, search for music on the Mac, uh, on the iPad and then drop it over, save it uh, to the desktop on the iPad. Anyway, that's a whole nother uh, video. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the workstation. Uh, I have a little hub uh, back here. I don't know if you can see it. And that's where I plop in my SD cards. And I have my external hard drives uh, back there too. The convenient part is that orange card, which came with that orange hard drive, uh, that also uh, cord, I should say, also fits in the silver one. So I only need one cord and I could tr go back, uh, back and forth between those two. But this fits uh, different kinds of SD cards. So SD card for the GoPro, uh, which is the little mini, and then your standard SD card. Lots of slots in there. Anyway, uh, definitely worth, I think I got it on Amazon for like six bucks. Paid for itself already. Uh, talk real quick about tripods uh, Inside I keep this one. It's a Manfrotto uh, It was the first real good tripod uh, that I ever Got and I really uh, like it But the tripod that I actually I haven't taken it out of the trailer from this weekend um, I like it better <laughs> And so I use that uh, one of the things that I added to this Manfrotto because I absolutely hated uh, the way this ball uh, was was I ordered 
this piece right here which uh, locks your camera in and I'll show you the the receptacle that's on the on the back side and the nice thing is I can use the camera that I'm shooting on which is my M50 and my other can my Canon uh, 90D uh, which has a L bracket on it uh, they both fit in this and I have the same thing on my other tripod and so I never have to change from one camera to the next and this is permanently there and it's super easy the camera just locks in so this is my Canon M50 and it's on the Manfrotto tripod right now again with the locking mechanism this is a nice one because you just you turn this dial right here and you can maneuver the camera and get it where you want it good sight picture with that uh, then I'm using the Rode uh, Mini microphone, and I just never take the dead cat off of it. Uh, this is a reliable mic. I really like it. And it's got the shock mount, so you don't get the bouncing and whatnot. It's, it's a good mic. Uh, this camera, the Canon M50, is a mirrorless camera. I do have a ND filter on it, so it's variable. So that's nice when you're in different uh, lighting conditions. Uh, but it's, a, it's just a, a super good camera for shooting uh, YouTube videos. I like it because it's, it's small. And it, I'll do a comparison between the 90D there. So here's the M50 and there's my 90D. And yeah, it's got the bigger lens on it right now. But uh, regardless it the the weight and the body size is much you're you're just a lot more discreet with this one when you're out videoing what i really like about the 90d is it will shoot in 4k uh, not that i've shot a lot in 4k but it will it will shoot in 4k but that's our go-to camera when we're doing uh, most of our recording and then, like I said, what the thing that we're really excited about is this, uh, the new uh, iPhone. Uh, that's the 13 Pro. Didn't want the Max because it, I just don't like the size of it. But, uh, you know, this is, um, it's good. And I, the video quality on this is just amazing. I, so anyway. That's my phone, for those of you that, and oh, I'm, I'm a real minimalist when it comes to my phone. I got my calendar, my to-do list, the weather, four apps on my home screen and music, and then, you know, the things that you need every day, the phone messenger stuff, and then second page, that's it, and then right to the app library. So I, it's part of my uh, declutter attempt. Anyway, iPhone 13 Pro, and you're going to be seeing a lot of video uh, shot with this because it really is amazing. It's that small, and it takes great video. So the other camera that we use is the uh, GoPro, and this is the Hero 7 White. Um, I'm due for a GoPro upgrade I like the idea of having an action camera. Uh, I like I, I like the quality, uh, the the ease of use, the interface. I I don't know. It it could be better, but it's a good point. Turn on and kind of shoot uh, camera. So you know, it kind of is what it is. I would like uh, one of the newer uh, GoPros for sure. But um, this one seems to be serviceable. And we keep that on this little tripod here because it's nice because it acts as a selfie stick, sort of. And, you know, you can angle the camera to, um, you know, get it where you want it, I guess. Um, and then, you know, it doubles as a tripod.
So speaking of tripods, uh, this is our go-to handheld tripod right here. And I wish I could remember the name of it, uh, but it's really cool. You just flip the legs in, it becomes a selfie deal. Grab the leg, swing it out, and it becomes a tripod. And then what I what I added to it was, well, actually this one, yeah, I, I added this ball to it. This screwed right into the base. And you'll notice that that's the same receiver so I can interchange just like these. It's the same. So I never have to change what I got on my camera to fit on the tripod and whatnot. We probably use this 99% of the time that we're, that we're recording. So if I could figure out the name of this, I'll, I'll drop a link to it. But it's, uh, it's expensive, but I really like it. And no, that's not the name. That is the name of the ball head that I added. It's on here somewhere. So you may have seen uh, this bag, this is my camera bag, uh, in some of the videos, probably the last video. Uh, it's made by a company called InCase. Uh, it'll fit uh, my 90D, my M50, the GoPro, uh, plenty of storage on the outside. And um, I really like this case. I love the fact that you lay it on the back. Uh, Totally weather uh, proof or resistant on the back side, but I keep filters and you know photography mostly stuff in here, but batteries and whatnot. Uh, the 90D uh, the 90D lives there, and then I put the M50 down in here. But this thing is just packed full of storage, and you can strap tripods to it and whatnot. And it's a super comfortable pack to wear. All right, so over here, this is our Zion. Um, focusing, I think it's because that dot. Our Zion uh, gimbal for the for the phone, it's charging right now. This is kind of my charging station. And then I have my battery charging pack there. There's a battery currently on there. And because it's Canon, uh, the cord is the same cord for the charger for my 90D batteries. So I just change out the block. The 90D battery charger is currently in my bag, but I'm charging, um, an M50 battery right now on there. Okay, so for video editing, um, we use Filmora. Uh, we're using version 10.5.3, uh, which is, I believe, the newest uh, version out there. But I really like it. It's easy. It's all, you know, what you see is what you get, really. It's easy to drag and drop, uh, cut. It's got some really cool features. I really don't find the need I have uh, Photoshop I've got the Adobe suite for video editing and I keep coming back to Filmora because it really just is powerful and it's super easy to use so yeah we use Wondershare's Filmora 10 and we're totally happy with it probably not going to change anytime soon so anyway super happy with that Okay, well, that's pretty much it. That's what we use. Um, we don't get too fancy. Um, I'm excited to use the new iPhone in, and I'm going to use that gimbal. I used it early on, and then I bought one of those Otter, uh, Otter cases for my phone, and it never fit. It wouldn't balance. But with this new phone, I'm using a Pelican case 
on there which is about the same size as the phone and I just tested it before I charged it it balances perfect I walked around the house uh, it's gonna work really good I'm I'm excited about that so uh, hey I'm curious of what you use do you have a fancy camp camera set up are you you know like borrowing stuff from Hollywood Studios um, and what do you use to edit your videos really curious and now that we're into the whole photography thing uh, the 90d is a part of our kit that we're always 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 toting around and so um, you know it, it's it's pretty cool loving our setup as is it's pretty simple it's very user-friendly you don't have to be a photographer or a genius to use any of this stuff and it shoots good quality video all right with that we're going to close out the video appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you in the next video thanks for coming along folks